This video will show you how to create service connector manually to connect to a third party service, Thomas Bayer. We will also show you how to configure various actions for this service connector to perform desired operations on Thomas Bayer service and use them in a process to perform lookups. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login and select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Lab Exercise and a folder named Account Invoice Processing. First, we will create the Thomas Bayer Service Connector. Click New and Service Connectors. This tutorial is about creating service connectors manually. Hence, we will keep the default option and click Create. The Service Connector Edit window opens. The Definition tab defines the name and description of the Service Connector. We have entered Thomas Bayer as the name of the connector. The Actions tab defines the operations available for the service. We will define two actions, Get Invoice and Get Customer. First, we will define Get Invoice. The Action tab defines the generic basic information. We have entered Get Invoice as the name of the action and category Thomas Bayer. The Input tab defines the input required to invoke this service. We will add an input field Invoice ID. Retain the default type as text and enter a value for the test with text box. The Binding tab defines the URL where the service call is made. We'll add a few output fields. We'll first add the ID field. Enter ID as the name and retain the default type as text. Select Property ID for the Get from field. Similarly, we have added Customer ID, Total, Response Code and Response Code X Query. The Test tab lets you test the service. Select Test on Cloud Server and click Test. The test is successful. Status 200 indicates the test has succeeded. Next, we'll add the Get Customer action. Click the Add icon. In the Action tab, we have entered Get Customer as the name of the action. and Category Thomas Bayer. The Input tab requires a customer ID to perform the operation and get back the customer details. We'll add an input field. Enter customer ID as the name, retain the default type as text, and enter a value 12 in the test with text box. The Binding tab defines the URL. The Output tab defines the customer information. We'll add the output fields here. First, we'll add the ID field. Retain the default type as text and select Property ID for the Get From field. Similarly, we have added first name, last name, street and city. You can also add fields which derive their value as an expression which can consist of X query functions applied on the available fields. For example, if you were to add a field called test, you can choose it to be of type expression and define the expression by clicking the function icon. As you can see, the input and output fields are available to be a part of the expression and functions and process objects. In the Test tab, select Test on Cloud Server and click Test to test the service. The test is successful and displays customer information like ID, name and address. Save and publish the service connector. 
Next, we'll create the Thomas Bayer connection. Click New and Connections and click Create. In the Connection Edit window, we have entered the connection name as Thomas Bayer Actions. We'll select Thomas Bayer as type of connection and run on Cloud Server. Save and publish the connection. We'll now create the account invoice processing process. Click New. The process asset is selected by default. Click Create. A design palette opens. The start and end steps appear by default. In the General tab, we have entered a name for the step as Lookup Invoice and Customer Details. In the Start tab, we'll configure this process as an HTTP SOAP process. Enter Service Consumer as the allowed roles. Please note that this role must have run privileges and run on Cloud Server. We'll add Invoice ID as the input field. Retain the default type as a text and select the required checkbox. We'll now add the output fields. First add Invoice ID. Retain the default type as text. Similarly, we have added output fields like Customer ID, Total, First Name, Last Name, Street and City. In the Advanced tab, set the tracing level to Verboss to get a detailed information on the execution of the process. We'll now add a service step between the start and end steps and call it Get Invoice Details. In the Service tab, select Connection as the service type. Select Thomas Bayer Actions from the folders as the connection and select the Thomas Bayer Get Invoice as the action. In the Input Fields tab, add Invoice ID as input. Set the value for Invoice ID as field, Invoice ID in. Next, add a service step after the Get Invoice Details step and call it Get Customer Details. In the Service tab, Select Connection as the service type. Select Thomas Bayer Actions as the connection. And select Get Customer as the action. In the Input Fields tab, we'll add Customer ID as the input. Select Field as the value. and select Customer ID. Save and publish the connection. We'll now execute the process. Click Properties and click the Process Properties tab. Click Copy to copy the process URL and paste it in a new tab. Enter the Invoice ID value and execute the command. The execution is successful and returns a valid customer ID, name and address details. Go back to the Informatica Cloud window. Open the Application Integration Console window. An ID is generated for every executed process. Click the ID to view further details. The current run state shows completed. Review the input fields. Click the Get Invoice Details step. Review the input and output values. Click the Get Customer Details step and review the input and output values. If you wish to do a further detailed debugging, go to the Advanced view. Click Variables. Let us look at the input fields. Here, you can see the input values to the process, which is invoice ID 12. 
Next, let's look at the output fields. Review the output values. This concludes the video demonstration on creating and executing an account invoicing processing process. In this demonstration, we learned to create service connectors manually, define multiple actions, and use them in a process to automate a simple business problem.